this game Just you and I, yeah Let's just game Hi guys, it's Taylor and welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new, please don't forget to subscribe and turn on your post notifications so that you know whenever I upload. Okay, okay. So y'all, for today's video, we are going to be trash talking a little bit. I have a bunch of empties in front of me on my desk and in this bag on the floor that I have gone through for the past few months. So we're gonna call this probably my summer empty. So we're gonna say from June, up until now. So the empties that I have are home care items. So I have a bunch of wallflowers from Bath and Body Works. I have some candles, some soaps, a little bit of body care, and that is pretty much it. So let's just get right on into this video. I'm gonna start off with the soaps that I finished off. I only have four soaps that I finished throughout this little period of months. Uh, so the first one is Happy Easter, which was Tutti Frutti Candy. I liked this one. Now I remember using this one back in like March, April when it first came out because I was really excited to grab this and use it. I enjoyed the scent while I was using it. I probably won't pick it up again or actually no. I probably will pick it up again but this isn't a scent that is like super backup worthy to me because I also tried out the body hair in this. I actually bought it, used it once and I hated the smell on my skin personally. Like when I smelled it in store I really liked it but when I brought it home to use it I was like no. So this was good while it lasted plus the packaging is also really cute. It has this little Easter bag get on there with like the little bunny on the back. The next soap I used up was Boardwalk Vanilla Cone and I really liked this scent. I wish I would have purchased more of this for the summer sass because that's when I decided to actually pick it up because it was like I want to say two or three dollars when I got it but this was a scent that was really really nice. I love the smell of it. It reminds me of the Berry Waffle Cone candle slightly which is why I really enjoyed it but hopefully I can find this again soon maybe they'll bring it back out next year or even if I happen to find any of them for the winter sass I would definitely stock up on these because I really did like this scent soap with pistachio cream puff I really like this packaging but this came out around the time that the brunch care collection brunch care the brunch body care collection came out a couple months ago and I actually like this scent I only grabbed one of them I wish I would have grabbed a second one because this was another one that I really did enjoy using plus it looked super cute on my sink with this cute like light green packaging so I did like this one the last soap that I used up was sunshine and lemon this was one that I kept in the kitchen. Usually whenever I buy lemon scented soap, wallflowers or candles or just anything lemon scented as far as like home scents go, I always put them in the kitchen because I love to smell that fresh citrus scent whenever I'm cooking or just in the kitchen in general to make it nice and clean and fresh. So this is one that I used up in the kitchen. I do already have another one of these in a different packaging, but I'm not going to use that one just yet because it is fall time. So I do have my fall scents out that I want to use, but this is definitely a scent that I do continue to repurchase just because I love lemon scented things and this always stays in my kitchen. Okay next category that we're going to go into is the wallflowers. I have 12 of these that I used up. I'm really trying to work through using up a lot of my wallflowers because I have a ton of them or I did have a ton of them. I want to say I have probably about 10 of them left now but I'm definitely going to be stocking up again for the winter sass. I usually try to stock up on wallflowers when they're on sale. The best time to get them is during sass because you can usually find some as low as like a dollar and 80 something cents. That's when I got a lot of them last winter December sass. I got a bunch of them for 187. So the first one was cinnamon spice vanilla in Paris Cafe. I really really like this scent. I wish I could have grabbed the candle version of this when they did come out with the blended collection but I was able to find this one at Sass for a dollar and something so I ended up getting this one. The next one is Pine Pingo. I was gonna say Pingo. The next one is Pineapple Mango. I had this in the kitchen. I will not buy this one again because I don't like how the wallflower smells. Now I have had the candle and the candle smells really good, amazing, but there's just something so artificial about this that I 
really did not like it and I was so glad that it was finally done so I will not be repurchasing this again but it's not a super terrible scent. One was Cozy Linen. I had this in the bathroom. Now the weird thing about this is that the color of the liquid it changed to this like weird dark brown color but initially initially but initially it was a like bluish like a dark blue color but it changed over time. I don't know but I did like smelling this one. Y'all know I love my linen and laundry scents so I will be repurchasing this scent. One was Ghoul Friend. I didn't really care for this. It smelled okay but it wasn't a favorite of mine. I probably wouldn't purchase this again unless I found out it at Sass, a bunch of them and they were like a dollar or something but it wasn't a super extravagant scent that I would care for. This one I guess I don't have the little tag for it to say what it was but I'm pretty sure this one was salted butterscotch and vanilla and I had this in the room. It was an okay scent. It kind of lost its fragrance probably about halfway throughout but it might have been because of the wallflower I had. I am starting to switch over to the scent control ones because I find you can smell it much more because you can control the scent but this was a good smelling one. I wish they had this in a candle. I don't know if they've ever had it in a candle. They probably have but I would be repurchasing this one again because it does smell good. This one also does not have a little hang tag but it is pumpkin cupcake. It does have it written right there. You guys can't see it but this one was pumpkin cupcake. It it smelled all right too it wasn't super strong so i don't know if i would pick it up again but it did smell good this one also does not have the hang tag but i cannot oh what is this I did enjoy this one it was strong throughout the entire time i was i was gonna say burning it throughout the entire time i had it in the wall so i would re-pick this one up again I just cannot remember what the name of this is for the life of me right now. This one was Fresh Coconut and Cotton. Love this scent. I already have two more backups of these, so I will continue to rebuy this one as long as it is available. Firecracker Pop. I would not purchase this one again because the scent, I literally had it in for probably about two or three days. It was only a down about this much and all the scent was gone. Like, no matter what I did, this is one that just was not fragrant at all all and I had such high hopes for it but it just didn't smell like anything I mean the scent smells good but the lasting power on this wallflower is zero this one is another firecracker pop and then this one is fresh sheets which also smelled heavily fragrant throughout the entire time like I always say the linen scents have such long lasting power especially in the wallflower so this is another one that I would repurchase again for the scent okay moving into like personal care skin care body care type of things the first thing that I have here is the skin cement raspberry rain shaving gel this was the travel size that I finally used up and was done with this is one that I bring with me whenever I travel but I had like a little bit left when I got back from Florida over the summer and I was like let me just use this up and be done with it so that is exactly what I did it was a nice shaving gel I mean I don't have really anything to say about it it lathered nice it smelled good and that was about it thing I have here is from Bath and Body Works also this was one of their whipped sugar body scrubs and this was vanilla V no L I know it looks a little janky because the top part of that is missing but if you know you know that whenever you have Bath and Body Works products that have like the little squeeze tube, usually you cut it open so that you can get every single drop. I mean, if you wanna get your money's worth, you will do that because there comes a point where you're squeezing this and nothing else will come out this bottom. So you have to cut it open and use it. So that's what I did. And I really, really liked this sugar scrub. I got this at the Summer Sass for, I'm gonna say like $30. There was a whole bunch on the table, but I only grabbed one because I was like, mm, let me try it out. I've never used their whipped body scrubs, but I have used the sugar sand scrub, or not sugar scrub, I don't know. The sand scrub that they had a couple years ago, which was the at the beach scent, I used that and I fell in love and never saw it again. So when I picked this one up, I didn't really know what to expect, but I really liked this. It had a nice, like, moderate exfoliation it wasn't super harsh like the tree head scrubs but it wasn't super soft like the dove scrubs it was right in the middle it was perfect plus it's a whipped sugar scrub so it has that soapy feel to it so hopefully they bring these back for the holidays and i can get another one because i really did like this and i mean as y'all can see i liked it because i cut it open to get every single drop out of this like do y'all see this it is squeaky clean in here okay next two products are both hair care products by the same brand these are the Mayo hair care products this is the shampoo and this is the hair oil which I 
love this is my second bottle of this hair oil and i wish that they would make it in a larger size because i run through this so quick but i love using these they're very nice and soothing refreshing they give me a cooling sensation when i use them and this shampoo really gets my hair nice and clean i used to be a shea moisture die hard fan of hair care ever since i cut my hair and went natural some years ago but over time their formulation has changed you know they were sold and it just really wasn't working for my hair anymore so i decided to try out this brand a couple months ago and i have been loving it ever since so i need to go stock up on both of these again sometime this week because these are now like staples in my hair care routine especially this oil this oil and next two things this is a bottle of contact solution it's just a cvs brand because obviously i wear glasses and i wear contacts so i need some contact solution and i mean i used it all up so it is great it keeps my contacts moisturized i used up this little mini sample of the milk makeup hydro grip primer love this stuff like if you want your makeup to stick stay and not move for the entire day get you some of this body care products that i used up were both soaps this one is just a dove bar soap i always use the dove ones i love them i've used them for years so i have nothing to say about this but i use i use a rep girl and i'm almost done the one i'm using right now then i also used up the no less consensuals passion fruit hyperpigmentation so i really did like this soap they sent this over to me um a couple months ago i have been using it since then i really really liked and enjoyed this it definitely did get my body nice and clean and then the last category i have here are just candles i went through let's see there are eight candles so we're just gonna jump right into them of course all of them are from bath and body works because y'all know i'm a bath and body works stand Qu literally majority of my empties are bath and body works because i have so many things that i be trying to run through them because i continuously buy more and more things but anywho you know i finished was champagne toast and fresh orange i really did like this one i liked the candles that they came out with for this blend collection but i wasn't able to grab them all but i did like this one so i definitely would be repurchasing this one again i feel like you can smell both of them equally and this fresh orange was definitely a nice scent addition to the champagne toast because champagne toast by itself at least for me it's very nice and bubbly and it does have like a little hint of citrus in it but not being like overly citrus or anything and i think it's because of the champagne bubbly sparkly note that's in it but i really did like this one i don't know if i put these in my last empties video but if i did i'm sorry because they were still in this bag so i'm gonna show y'all again but this one is springtime in paris i finished this a while ago so I'm pretty sure it was in my last empties video, but I really did like this scent. I do have one more left that I will not be burning until I can find me a couple more of this scent with this glass lid because they are super pretty. We have sugar lemonade, and like I said, all lemon scents stay in my kitchen. So this was one that was burned in the kitchen. I love this scent. I will always repurchase this one over and over and over again. One I have here is lavender vanilla. This one is from 2020, at least this packaging. Yeah, it's from 2020. I did like it. It was all right. I might repurchase it again, but this is not a scent that I would just burn consistently or just gravitate towards on an everyday basis because for one i'm not a huge lavender note fan last two candles that i burned were single wicks these are both sunny tropical mango i picked these both up during the summer sass these were on sale for i think three dollars i want to say like 362 350 something like that they were three dollars so i picked those up and i burned them in both of the bathrooms continuously because i like to burn the same scent in the bathroom at the same time i don't know i burned these two and i really did like this scent so i probably would pick this up again but only in the single wick because i don't think i can handle it in a three wick i feel like it's a nice bathroom scent but that's about it okay so those are all of the empties that i've gotten through so far i feel like it is quite a bit a good amount of empties that i've been able to get through considering the amount of things that i have if you all really liked and enjoyed this video please let me know by liking this video and giving it a thumbs up and commenting down below and i will see you all in my next video bye guys